guys my name is crystal and welcome to my youtube channel welcome old subscribers welcome new um if you like my videos please press the like button and please do subscribe i'm doing this video um basically because someone keeps pestering me if i if i'm just sat down minding my own business i either get a phone call a message or an email um, that's pestering me. I'm, I'm being quiet in my flat. I haven't gone out anywhere. I haven't gone to Rochester Cathedral. I haven't gone to a street party. Uh, to be quite honest with you, I was a bit shaky on my feet this morning. When I met that gentleman called Charlie on the Rochester field this morning, he was smoking. He lit up a fag with a lighter and I inhaled cigarette smoke and I started to feel dizzy. So I just managed to get myself around off of the field, get home, and I was very shaky on my feet and I didn't feel well enough to go outside anywhere. That's the, the honest truth. I didn't feel well enough to walk across the road to the Rochester Cathedral. So I've been in my flat also, what my mother, Jennifer, said to me yesterday, she accused me of being guilty of something. I was actually not afraid to go outside, but wary that someone was going to attack me because I don't know what I'm supposed to be guilty of. And um, the, the Charlie said this morning, it's best to stay indoors safe and have home deliveries. That's what Charlie said to me this morning. The guy I met on the field. So I have been wary to go outside. Um, I've just had an email from a police officer. This is supposed to be an email from a female police officer. Now I've had many, many, many dealings with so-called police officers. Whether they're real or fake, you don't know. But the, this is a woman, supposedly. Um, I've had a PC sweet man in the past and now we have a female uh, PC so I'm just going to go into my Gmail my Gmail because my dad's dead Derek obviously can't uh, send emails he's dead so I've got women sending me emails telling me they're a female police officer Candy Roy, C A N D Y R O Y E, Candy. Sounds like a porn star film name, doesn't it? Candy. I want candy. Hello, Crystal. That's me. Hello, Candy. That's me. I'm Crystal. I'm a female. I hope you are well. I am emailing in relation to the report that you've made to us. I just wanted to provide you with further safeguarding advice which will hopefully prevent any further incidents occurring. Do not post your whereabouts on social media. Do not post your address on social media. Do not tell anyone... Do not tell anyone know your address or personal details. Make account private so that only friends and family are able to see what you post. Do not add anyone you do not know. As you, oh, sh me. As you are aware, in this report has been filed, however. I just wanted to further safeguard you. Kind regards, PC Roy. Right, that, that's fair enough, but if you make everything private, just you and your friends, I know that's understandable, but sometimes you want to let other people know what's going on in the UK, and you want to, obviously, it's very limited. I mean, from going to having like a hundred friends, you'd go to having like two or three. My family don't use social media. My mum hasn't got a phone and she doesn't use social media. So that's their advice and that's what their advice has been 
all the way along, right? Um, again, it doesn't, they're not finding out who the criminal is and telling them off. They're just, this is what it's been like all the way through. They don't try and find out who's doing it. They come to me and tell me, I block people. I, of course I do, I block them. If they start playing about, I block them. Um, I can understand what she's saying, and I understand that, but, you know, it's not really helping me find out who's been doing it in the first place. Um, so we've sorted that out. I'm getting odd emails to my emails, and I gave the email address to the police. The police asked me for my email address and I started getting funny emails afterwards. I'm not saying that this candy is fake, I don't know. I started getting some fun emails after I gave this so-called police person my email address because the police ask for your email address right so I've obviously had an email from the dentist they want me to go for a, for a dental checkup there's no problem with that Jessica Lange I mean, this is American. I've got an email from Jessica Lounge, um, Princess Cruises, Jessica Allberg, Isabel Thompson, Naughty, it's a royal occasion, Kylie Manning, Emily Brown. So I click on Emily Brown and it's pornography. It's women sending me pictures of themselves through email, which go straight to, I, I'm, I'm, every time I get one, I send it to the spam box or delete it. But it, you, you know, this email goes back to when my father used it to order home deliveries. So I don't know whether I should delete this email address. Because my dad used to use this email address to have, um, like home deliveries right so it's not been too bad um, so leading up to the coronation I had a lot of trouble but it, it's calmed down it's got quiet I think when people realized that it got to the point where someone was about to hit me and get they were getting very cross and very like aggressive that, that it's actually stopped which is good um, I had a bit of a shitty day yesterday. I spent some time with my mum and my mum was getting like quite angry with me and I was just sat there and when she said to me, you're guilty and you're always hogging the limelight. Today I felt, when I woke up I felt rotten. I felt upset. I felt like crying and I felt miserable. So I stayed in bed an hour longer I got up later, I took Max out for a walk, and that's where I met Charlie on the field. He said he was Charlie. Um, the dating site where I was getting a lot of hassle, I've deleted it, so I've got rid of that, so I shouldn't get any more trouble out of that, I've deleted it. Um, so I came back from meeting Charlie on the field, came back into my flat and I just felt depressed. I suffer from severe depression, which I'm going to see the doctor next week about. He said, we'll sort out getting you out of your home address. And then he said that we'll deal with the other problems next week. And I started to feel dizzy and faint this morning because I'm allergic to, I think, vape pipes and people's smoke. So I, I had a hot dog for lunch, I had some crisps and I listened to some music 
I took Max out lunchtime and there was girls walking a brown dog, like the dog next door. And there was like a lot of people on the field, but I just walked Max and I just was by myself, kept myself to myself and I walked home. There was no problem at all, but I still felt depressed. Got indoors and I felt a bit shaky on my feet. So I went and had a bath, a long, nice, bubbly, hot bath soak. I'd watched bits of the coronation off, on and off. And then I watched Brian Harvey and his mate Lee, um, like commentating on the coronation, saying it was a con coronation, a con. And throughout the um, commentary that Brian Harvey and his mate Lee were doing, he was talking about Princess Diana and Princess Diana should have been queen, which I agree, agree with. And then he made a funny comment. He said that Princess Diana secretly had a penis a cock and I, I thought right I, I, I was laughing at what Brian Harvey was saying I was laughing my head off and then when he said something to the fact that Diana had a penis I start, uh, started feeling horrible because you know that that was a strange thing to say I just thought it was a strange thing to say to keep saying commentating on the coronation about Charles and Camilla and then say, saying that Diana should have been queen which I agree with but why say that Diana had a penis and that sort of upset me and deflated me so from going to laughing at what Brian was saying I then started to feel horrible and bad about what he was saying about Diana I'm not saying that he meant it nasty but he just came out with Diana had a penis I just don't know why he said that um, I carried on listening to Brian and Lee and then the coronation ceremony finished at three o'clock and then I, that's when I went and had a big long soak. Um, I'm not against the royal family, don't get me wrong, um, but my mum had upset me yesterday and she said I was guilty and she'd upset me and made me feel bad about myself. So I woke up this morning very, very depressed and upset. And normally I would have gone out to Rochester Cathedral and done a bit of videotaping and joined in with everybody, but I felt shit yesterday. Woke up feeling depressed and shaky. And I've decided that I'm not gonna answer my mother's phone calls or go up there for the time being because it's affecting my mental health now. It's really affecting my mental health to just turn around with no provocation to say I'm guilty and hogging the limelight when I'm actively trying to talk to people and get myself out of being shy and quiet. And my mum is like, shot me down in flames and send me back to square one. So I've got to work myself back up again. So I, yes, I would have celebrated the coronation if I hadn't have gone through what I went through yesterday. Um, I'm going to try and get myself back on my feet. Normally people making noises, making stupid comments doesn't affect me. I went out to the sweeps festival with a barrage of crap and I just ignored it and enjoyed myself. But when, when my mum had snapped at me, said I was guilty and I was hogging the limelight, it sort of cracked my confidence so I've got to work myself up again. Um, there's supposed to be a big lunch tomorrow here in Rochester Riverside at the park down the bottom end past Corey's Road and um, I don't know what the weather's going to be like but hopefully I won't feel as shitty tomorrow as I do have done today and, and I will try and join in with things but um, I don't know. What was said to me yesterday has shaken my confidence. It has shaken me to the core what was said to me yesterday i didn't deserve that i was just sat down quiet letting, letting my mother rant off as she does about my father derek and she just verbally laid into me and i, I don't i can't speak to her for the time being and i don't want to go up there either um it's not worth going through that
nobody deserves to be uh, humiliated like that. I haven't done anything. And what am I being punished for every day of my life? Why is my mother punishing me? What have I done? I haven't done anything. And Princess Diana, right? I was listening to Brian Harvey and Lee and I was laughing and joking along with it. And then when he just came out with Princess Diana, I had a cop. I mean, a beautiful woman just shot down like that with one comment. It's hurtful. That part wasn't funny. This is where when you can sometimes can listen to things that other people are saying, can affect you, it can upset you. You can be high, high up there and then just down in flame after hearing something that's nasty um, so no I haven't joined in any fun today um, the weather hasn't been all that to be honest we've had like overcast weather with bouts of rain and it's not my type of weather anyway but um, no I, I, I don't hold grudges I, I don't have anything against anybody um, so yeah good luck to Charles and Camilla uh, good luck to them. Diana was a separate entity. She would have been queen had she stayed married to Charles, but that went wrong. She was happy towards the end of her life. She'd met someone else and she was happy. And I think she would have wished Charles well and got on with her life. Um, so I've missed out, really. I've missed out because I was made to feel horrible yesterday and um, you know sometimes you need something to, to cheer you up and not be miserable all the time and I think maybe you know it's too late now I've missed the whole lot of it I watched it parts of it on telly but um, I'm not a nasty person I don't wish anyone nastiness um, I was just verbally attacked yesterday for no reason and had I hadn't gone up there and listened to that I probably would have gone out this morning and gone to Rochester Cathedral but hey ho that's life and we have to learn and move on and if tomorrow's nice it's going to be a different day see you later <coughs>